Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to show you guys how you can update your Buzz TV boxes to Buzz TV 5 beta release. Plus, this is going to be compatible with the 4000 series, 4500 series, and Essential E2 series. Remember that if you are on OS 9, you're compatible. That's the first thing I have to mention. And VidSticks are going to get compatibility very soon. And some of the boxes that didn't get it, how it is possible if you come across a problem, we will explain everything in this video. Beside that, I do not want to forget, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, click to click the subscribe button. Make sure you click the notification icon, select all, in order to get notified once we have a new video out. On top of that, if you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We'll have to help you out ASAP. Don't forget to click the click the like button. It really motivates us to make these step episodes quickly with a little more detail every time. So here you go. Number one, make sure that you are on the main screen and connected to the internet. Then you have to scroll down and select updates. Once you click updates, it should take you to the screen that will show you that your latest version of software on it is on 2021 1108 for the 4500 or it should be on 111 11 11 at the end for 4000 and for essential e2 series also the firmware version should be 1108 from 2021 and then once you're there where you see your check mark where it says check for update don't press anything, grab your remote and point it towards your box. And on your remote, you have to type 2015. And once you process that, it automatically very quickly will go and check that if you are compatible or enabled to go to Bus TV 5. Now, if you did get stuck as a screen, I'm showing you, it says there's no update. That's fine. There's two reasons for that. Number one, you probably just activated your box. Means it's brand new box. If that is the case, you have to wait one week in order for you to get the update. Now, there are some times that your box that you just activated may get the update. That's perfect. Just go through and install it. But if you didn't get it, you have to wait that seven days before you can check for beta update. That's number one. Number two, if you did get the update in November or December and you're trying to process it right now and it does not go through. So you have to go to your computer and you have to go to the browser and you have to type bustv.com and wait for the website to come up. And once it is totally loaded, you can see there is a little help button on the bottom. You have to select it. You will get this part. You have to put your name, email address, phone number. If you scroll down a little bit, it says message. Now, if you look at the bottom of your box, you have a serial number. Please grab that serial number in the MAC address and you have to type it up. I know it's very little, but you need to type it up and put at the bottom of it that I would like to go to the latest version of Buzz TV 5 beta and click send. And you will get a little reply now. If your box is just activated and you're thinking that you can bypass that seven days, I don't think it will work. They will email you back saying that you're not compatible at the meantime. So don't take that to heart. That is just a process that is placed to make sure everyone gets to that platform. Another thing I want to mention is this is beta. If you do have problem, you cannot go to this website and ask for help. You have to go to STB Talk dot com over here and then you can scroll down and go to your model doesn't matter if it's an essential e2 or 4000 series or 4500 series you need to go inside of it and you gotta find a part that says bus tv5 which click over here and then you gotta create a new topic or you can read the problems and fixes that are already done maybe you're missing a step or maybe something is wrong with the server that you're connected to that gives you those issues. So you need to come here and process so that we at least you know what is going on and how you can tackle that problem to get it fixed because the regular help cannot help you out on a beta package. 
that's what I wanted to mention before we go next. So once you are in the screen that says that you need to install it, click on that little start upgrade to beta and let it go through. Now, before we get there, I want to mention that there are a lot of little parts that has been indicated in the bottom on the left hand side, which we are just scrolling down to show you exactly what the main features are. And you can click on download so that way it can download and that's it just leave it alone this part depends on the connection of your internet and it is about a gigabyte of download and let it go through and download it fully and then once it is totally done then it will go through to check for integrity and then it will tell you that installation is happening and it will reboot so this is the first boot going into buzz tv5 So as soon as it goes in, all right, so once you're here, this is Buzz TV 5. This is how it, everything looks. So you have your live TV, VOD, PVR. Once your live TV is running, you have a little picture in picture over here. That's not the only thing. I will go through once I hook up everything to show you more. But for the meantime, you have the logo on the top and then you have little settings, your date, and then also where you are and what is the temperature. That's beautiful. So that is accurate because we are connected via LAN connection at the meantime. Now let's go down a little bit. So apps, all of the apps are showing up in the bottom. That's not the only thing. If you click on the apps, it shows up on a full screen. Yes, you can select it this way too. But to make it very simple, they made a little shortcut right in the bottom and all of the apps are here, but you cannot move them back and forth. This is just to show you that it is possible to see it in the bottom. And then you have your app toy and then you can add more shortcuts for the apps to be first one on the list. This is how you will be able to bring something like your Disney Plus in this case. I will just select that and say yes, go back and it is showing up on this list. Perfect. That I can move back and forth by just clicking OK, or I can remove it, the shortcut, or even uninstall the app right from this shortcut itself. That's not the only thing. Let's go up to settings. This is the latest settings on Bus TV 5. Everything is on the top, all condensed, and yes, you just saw that little weather in the time move down. Perfect. That's not the only thing. You go to the right, it goes to server settings, so you can set up your servers. Another thing is if you want to connect via Wi-Fi, you just have to scroll down, select it, and voila, it's working. Another thing is Bluetooth on or off. You have function over here to turn it on and off. Or you can also go to your LAN, and this way it says connected right now, which is perfect. Your best utilities are right over here. Another thing is background. Now remember right now, it is just baby blue, and then it goes to a darker blue on a side. Now, for me, how can I fix that? It's very easy. Just have to click on this. Yes, this is my first time, so I will get this little pop-up. I'm going to say allow, but I already moved a bunch of files on this. So this way I can select my picture. Now, I already moved it from SD card to the internal storage under pictures. Now, if you request, we will make another video on showing you how that's possible. But for the meantime, let's select this one to be our background. And easy as that. Now, that's our background. If I want to go back and I want to change it to another one, which is this one, select it in a couple of seconds and it loads and that's my background now. To make it a lot easier and simple, I really like that little blue one. This one, I'm going to keep this as my background and that's how easy it is to process. Now, you want to check for updates, it's in here. Just click on it and you go on into your updates. Now, there is no more update and you can see that I am on the latest one today and you can see the date. If there is more up, up to date, it just updates by itself, by the way. And there's another place that you can check for your regular Buzz TV 5 beta check. So that's for this part. And your software is more up to date now. So it's 2022, January 6th version. Yes, this is perfect. And we will get out of this. Now, the next part that I wanted to mention was Buzz Utilities. That's going to stay the same. You can do everything that you wish over here. 
Now, one thing I do not want to forget is when you go, you will be able to play with your Buzz TV 5 beta on your 4000 series, 4500 series, and also on your Essential E2 series. And the Vitstix series will be next on the update. If you guys like our video, if you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment on the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is xctext.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and other social networking places. And thank you.